I know that I am not the only person who's tried to transplant a plant out of my arrow garden just for it to die a few days later. Well, if that's you, don't worry because today I figured out how to do it and I'm gonna share with you all the tips and tricks of transplanting from an arrow garden out into the actual garden. So the first step when transplanting is you actually have to take the plants out of the arrow garden and so you pull the entire casing out. This is a arrow garden harvest six pod. After I've pulled the plants out, then I carefully remove the plastic encasement there. You will probably damage some roots or actually rip some roots off. For most plants, this is not a big deal. They can handle that and they usually just grow just fine. The other arrow garden that I'm pulling out is another type of harvest, but this one has a special accessory on it, which is the seed starting trays. So it has, instead of six pods, it has like 21 pods. You can buy this separately um, for just specifically seed starting. You don't necessarily want to grow plants to adulthood in this particular tray, but when you want to grow a bunch of seeds all at once, this is the way to go. Hardening off is something that a lot of people in the north talk about in terms of getting your plants prepared for moving outside where it might be colder, but there's actually a hardening off process that occurs for people who live in an area where it's hot. And also another hardening off process when you're taking your plants from an environment like an arrow garden where it's completely water as the growing mechanism to a, a place of soil. This is a different kind of hardening off. So you have to do two types of hardening off when you're moving your plants. The first one you want to do is you want to determine the temperature that it is inside your home so that you know how you need to harden off whether it's hotter or colder outside. If it's hotter, like where I live in Florida, I generally will put these plants in shade after I've potted them up and I'll put them in shade so that they at least get a five to 10 degree difference in the shade versus, you know, directly in the sun. Now, if you are moving to a colder climate, like in up north, you would want to put these out in direct sun so that they have a little bit more warmth. And you also wanna do it over a shorter period of time where you're maybe giving them an hour outside at a time and the next day you give them two hours and the next day you do three hours and the day after that you do four hours and you just slowly increase the time so that they can adjust to that different temperature swing. The other thing you need to do is you need to get them adapted to the moisture level. To harden them off from a moisture perspective, what you're gonna wanna do is when you're potting them up, you want to pot them up in pots. I never go directly from my arrow garden out into the garden because of this transfer, this transition of moisture that has to happen for these plants. These plants are moving from an environment that is very, very wet, filled with water, and they're going into a more dry environment with soil. So you have to kind of give them a little bit of leeway in the beginning by giving them soil that is basically sopping wet. You don't want any of the water to accumulate in the bottom of the tray. So you'll want to water them in really, really deeply. And then after you've watered them in super deep, then you want to give them like an hour or two to absorb all the water that might be in the bottom of the tray and then dump out any excess water about an hour or two later. Once you've done that, and the soil is just sopping wet, from here, you're not gonna water them again until they dry out. And this will allow them to acclimate to a change in environment of less moisture. Over the next several days, they're going to start to dry out little by little by little, and that is what is basically is hardening them off from a moisture perspective. Once the soil is ready to be watered again, like it has completely dried out and it's ready to be watered, at this point is when I will actually transition them out into the garden. At this point, they are completely hardened off from the moisture level and they are completely hardened off from the temperature swings, whether that be cold or hot. And that's all there is to it. That is exactly how I transition my plants from the arrow garden outside to the garden. And I have never had a problem getting them to take this way. I hope this was helpful for you. Make sure to follow along so that you can see all my future tips and tricks around arrow garden growing. Happy gardening guys.